the beliefs you hold in the beginning of a journey define the journey. You cannot transform yourself unless you transform your belief system. A conductor becomes a superstar because as a conductor he believed I don't belong to that league. A chaiwala becomes a prime minister because when he was a chaiwala he believes I don't belong to that league. An employee becomes a world-beating entrepreneur because when he's still an employee, he recognizes this is not the league I belong to. Like every other sportsman, when somebody is also learning chess, somebody believes that this is not the league I belong to. I'm not saying everybody who believed that I will become a champion became a champion. But without believing you can become a champion, you don't become a champion. Positive thinking does not guarantee success, but negative thinking guarantees a failure. The only reason poor people are poor people is in their mind they believe they can only be poor. The only reason a middle class family reminds a middle class family is in the mind that I believe I'm here only to be a middle class. What can we do? We are middle class families. We are middle class families. We are middle class families. When your beliefs don't expand, your life does not expand. Most of you with all the capabilities aspire to go and become an employee in America and you become an employee in America and a few of them, whether it is here or any geography in the world, believe that they can go and be the leaders, they can be the entrepreneurs and they go and establish organizations. Without expansion of belief. Because life will only manifest the size of your belief. Rain will fill the size of the vessel that you have. I'm carrying a spoon. Rain will fill the spoon. I'm carrying a bucket. The rain will fill the bucket. I have built a pond. Water retaining pond. And the rain will fill the pond. Same is the case with life. Life cannot give you beyond what you believe is possible. You think you can be another dancer, you can be another dancer. You think you can bring about a transformation to the art form itself. And this is your way of saying thank you to that art form. You transform the art form itself, you revolutionize it. You think I'm also there only to wear the uniform and be one more person. You're just one more person. But you feel by wearing the uniform, if I can scale into leadership positions, and from there the amount of reformation I can create is phenomenal, you open up the possibilities. You sit here believing, I cannot be changed. You're given up even by God. You sit here believing, I'm ready for transformation. Then even a dancing blade of grass will give you a message and transform you. A program is not required. The beliefs you hold at the beginning of a journey define the journey. Few people carried this campaign. December is the worst month for Chennai. Everything will go wrong in December. Just because a couple of Natural disasters and human disasters have happened. A lot of campaign was there. When December was coming, even if it was drizzling, people created a campaign. Floods are going to come. LIC will get submerged. Nothing happened. Except some entertainment and social media happened. Nothing happened. You attract things into your life. You're a very powerful magnet. A human being is a very, very powerful magnet. The Veda says, from the Paramatma came the Jivatma. Quran says, everything descended from Allah. Bible says, God created human being after his own image. And the scientists say, this is a cosmic magnetic field. And every human being has descended from this cosmic magnetic field. You are a biomagnetic field. 
And by you being a biomagnet wheel, you are a very powerful magnet. Whether good people or right opportunities or right breakthroughs, depending on the quality of your beliefs, you magnetize them towards you or you repel them from you. Some of us have always met beautiful people. I consider myself one of the richest people in the world because the number of beautiful people I've met in life, probably nobody else has met so many beautiful people in life. I magnetize them. Wherever I go, beautiful people come and relate with me. And you draw them towards you. Whether the saint will walk up to you or mosquito will come to you, it depends on the quality of your water. If you are a dirty water, mosquito will come. If you are a clean water, saint will come. We draw things towards ourselves. And what creates this magnet within you is the power of your beliefs.